Hello, new. Hello, fitness enthusiasts. Welcome back to the journey. I'm Heather Williams with Journey to Forever Fit. And today we're going to groove with our warm up, but we are doing an upper body workout, some core, and an extended stretch, kind of pulling in a combination or a little concoction of some of the other videos already in the playlist. Let's march it out. All right, so before we get deep into this warm up, can I get you to make sure you have plenty of space, you have your water, you have, hit that subscription button, and if you've already subscribed to the station, thank you. And if you have already hit the notification bell, so you were notified to be here, thank you again. But if you haven't, click the bell, come on. All right, so we're going, like I said, we're going to groove. But this groove is just to take our heart rates up to get us ready. All right, knee lift, side to side. And I want you to move, get those arms going. So even though we are upper body focused, I want to make our time together efficient. So we're going to try to keep the heart rates up when we're on our feet. Toe tap side to side. And I'm going to warm up the lower body for some of the core work to prepare the body to stretch at the end. Add some heels to the glutes. But also, in some of our upper body moves, our lower body stabilize, balance out, add support. So basically, we really want this whole body warmed up. We're doing four more heels and back to knee lift up. Just take your arms here. You can make that any way you want. Ooh, thank you, muscle mixes, again for some good music here. Now, snap and tap. All right, just a little groove. And if you're doing this Monday morning, yes, great way to start out your week. Ooh, we got four. Three, two, that's all. I only have you for four songs, so we gotta jump into this. I want you to grab a moderate weight. So I have tens, eights, and threes. I have no idea where my fives are. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the eights. Give you a little side view. You're gonna stand nice and tall, weight in your heels. Push your butt back, arms down. We start with a bent arm row, bent over row, rather. Squeezing through the back. Pulling, so I'm just gonna pop my head up to make sure I am in good form, demonstrating proper alignment on these last four. Four, three, two, and release. Soft knees. All right, march it out. March it out. So again, just to keep that heart rate up, we have eight more march. And eight, seven, six, five. You got four, three, two, Halt, come on down, grab those weights, soft knees, shoulders down into the back, pull, pull, elbows shoot straight back, and my toes are up in my shoes, but the key here is really just to keep the butt over the heels. And last four, four, three, two, and one. One weight down, standing oblique work. Can I get you to pelvic tilt, bring your hips to me? So that's what I meant by that. Come to me, bring your hips to me, shoulders down into your back, extend that arm out, hand behind the head, drop and up, down and up. So uh, if you're mirroring me on your right side, that's your stretch, on your left side is your crunch. For four, keep that elbow high. Three, make sure your feet and your weight are even. So even stance in the feet and you're weighted evenly in your feet. Last one, change over and drop. Keep the elbow up, good. Last four, longer count. Here's your three. Make sure this arm, straight arm, your right arm is pulled back so you get a little back work here, but that back work is really just holding that arm in place. This is it. And we're coming down to the floor. Now I'm on carpet, as you can probably tell, so I'm not going to unroll my yoga mat, but what I'd like you to do is if you're on a hard surface, have something for your knees, protect your knees. All right, come on down. So as we come down, I think I'm gonna drop the volume on that just a little. I feel like that music just came in blasting. <laughs> we want the music to be a soundtrack. All right, so 
pelvic tilt, shoulders down into your back. Can I get you in a tabletop position? Here we go. Now, on this tabletop, this is your level one for your push-ups. You lower your face down and back up. Abs tight, toes tuck. You got it? And one more. Now, pick up your tempo, please. Down, two, three, four, more. And hold it, stretch back. Woo! Sit on back. Now, if this child's pose or this modified child's pose is too much, watch, here's your other option, just to round up into a cat stretch. From a kneeling position, let's do a little oblique work. These obliques, the torso, it's gonna get a lot of work today. Take a light weight, arms out, shoulders back. Let's rotate, rotate, center. And this is one of my favorite exercises, so I try to sneak this in as much as possible. So if you've done some of the other workouts, you've probably already done this. Which leads me to my next point. Next time around, maybe a little heavier in the weight, maybe a medicine ball or a Pilates ball, two more. And one more. We are back down for our second round of push-ups now. I wanna give you a level two on the push-ups, so let me start you on your level one, which is that tabletop. Watch what happens to the hips and the glutes. They push forward, tuck, and down. Down two. So this is your level two. Down two, the abs stay tight. Come on, stay with me. Woo! Again. One more. Hold it. Come on up. Grab that weight. Let me face you this time. So I'm in the pelvic tilt. Pelvic tilt, toes tucked. Arms here, shoulders down into the back. Let's go. One, two, again, four, three, two, and hold it, release. All right, one more round of push-ups, yes. So now you have your two levels. I'm gonna add a third level in, but it's not gonna be a high one. Let me demonstrate this next. So, you can go here for your level one, here for your level two, or your level three is here. Note how we start preparing the body for the high plank, the high plank version of a push-up. All right, everybody pelvic tilt, pick your level. Your three, two, one, come up. Now, if you're in the position I'm in, change legs. Three, two, one, come up. If you're in this position, change legs again. Everyone, we have three more left. If you're with me, change legs. One more. Excellent. Stretch it back. Okay. Now, if being on your knees is a bit too much, I want you to stand for this one. The rest of us can stay here. We tuck our toes, shoulders down into the back. We lift. Up. Up. Lift. Good. Upright row. Just an easy move. Lift. Lift. Come on. Four. Three. Two. And one, and we're with those light weights again, if you haven't noticed. We want it light here. And release, okay. So if you're standing, let me demonstrate for you, it'll make it easier. If you're standing, you're gonna give me a kick stance right here. Arms are narrow, all right? If you want a little more core work with this, take a knee. Maintain that pelvic tilt. Either way, you're not dropping back, you press straight up. Narrow shoulder press. And eight. Four. Five. Six. 
four, three, two, and one. Release it, okay. Weights down, stretch it out. Now this round, can we challenge ourselves just a little quick stretch here? Ooh, other side. All right, so we're gonna challenge ourselves. Go up a weight. Yeah, that's what I said. Go up a weight. <laughs> So we're doing our upright row. I'm going back to that medium weight that I used on top. So if you were at a three and you have some fives, go to the fives. We go one, two, down, two, lift, two. And make sure in this, it's almost like you're pulling the weights up the body or as you pull, if you use the visual of zipping up a jacket, so you want your wrist straight and your elbows to come up. Up. Now, if you don't have the range of motion to come all the way, you can stop chest level and back down. Good. And down, two more. That's it, one more. Now, here's the reason why I wanted you heavier. Okay, so you can take that standing position or if you've already gotten back to your feet, maintain your standing position. Bent knee right here, up. Two, good, so it's narrow until it's nine. And here's the nine. Up, two, and we're doing a fuller range of motion with this. If we were standing, I wouldn't have you drop your elbow so low, but this is okay. Make sure you're not rocking. Use your core, middle of the abdominals, to help you maintain your balance. And this is it for this two and two. If you're kneeling, we're changing legs. And if you're standing, we're changing legs on that back foot. Make sure that foot is tucked. All right, narrow, up, two. All right, you with me? Come on, I know you are. And here we go. One, two, three, drop. Three, two, don't stop. You're doing good. Come on, push through it. Push through it. Two more. One more. All righty. Weight down. Let's stretch it out. Okay, tricep kickbacks. On the kickback, I'm going to demonstrate. Standing, you're here, kicking back. You got it? Or kneeling, kicking back. There is no wrong position. There's what feels good in your body, where you are in your practice. Now, there is a wrong position for this. I want you to keep your biceps out of this so you're not gonna contract here, you got it? You're gonna contract on the kickback. Chest up, tuck the toes, kickback, stop. Kickback, 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 good. Now. If you are standing, I'm gonna have you come down to the floor now. The rest of us will do four more. Four, three, two, and one. Release, all right, this is why I wanted you down. Side, plank, pelvic tilt, reach up and hold, modified side plank. Now let's talk about this plank. Shoulder stays down, long arm, and then we reach to get a nice torso stretch and hold. Make sure you check the description because if you're doing this in April, April 2022 that is, if you're doing this workout in April, I've got a mini plank challenge going on this month, April 4th through the 30th. What's up for grabs? $50 Amazon gift cards. So make sure you read the description to get more information about our plank challenge and release. All right, so we come on up. Kneeling or standing, we kick back. Back, stop. I am emphasizing the stop. I'm almost overemphasizing it so you don't engage the biceps. I need you to have something when we get to the biceps. Nothing like some tired biceps trying to do a curl. For eight, seven, six, five, come on. Four, three, believe it or not, we are in our home stretch, guys and release, bring it down. Side plank right here. Line it up, pelvic tilt, reach up. 
And if you're not certain about your positioning in the plank, reach over, check out the playlist. My body doesn't do that yet. That's our how-to in our fitness journey. And I have a plank video on how to do a plank. And reach. And release. All right, come on down. So let's squeeze in some bicep curls. I'm gonna stay at an angle just to make sure I can be seen. Pelvic tilt. And up, two, down, two. Now here's the thing. I have really long arms. So to keep resistance in the muscle, my fingertips are going to hover the floor. I'm not touching the floor, but if you need to touch, that's fine. Up and down, so we're gonna slow it down. Ooh, those songs went fast. Again, lift up, good, and hold. Walk your feet forward, tuck, drop back, pulse. So now we start to get that core work in that I promised you. And we're going to combine, we'll do a little yoga lattes heading out. We're gonna do some core work, that's the lattes, and the yoga, that's the stretch. And slow it up. Breathe and release. Now, I'm gonna look into the camera again just to make sure my form is on, but I want you guys with that pelvic tilt and your focus straight ahead, squeeze the biceps, drop down. Eight, seven, come on. Six, five, you got it. Four, three, two, one more, and release. Weights off to the side. All right, so follow me down to the floor. Take your fingertips, spread them. Place your hands behind your head, elbows wide. Walk your heels back and crunch up. And each time you crunch, you wanna make sure there's a nice space between your chin and your chest. And you're taking your middle back and you're pushing into the floor. We have four, three, Two, and we're gonna leave our hands behind the head and lift, in, drop. Now on the drop, we keep those abs tight. Keep your shoulders pulled into the floor and you got four, this is your level one. Three, two. We're gonna add a level two with a crunch. Crunch, keep your focus up, good. Let your fingertips help support the back of the head. We're doing four more, and then we're stretching the lower back. Four, breathe, three, breathe, two, and one. Knees in, come on in, hold. So here's our lower back stretch now. In yoga, we have something called a happy baby. If you don't have the hip range of motion, no worries, don't stress yourself out. This is supposed to be good for us and it's a stress-free zone. So we're gonna separate the knees and do this. Level one, happy baby. Watch my fingertips, level two, pull in. If this feels like it's a lot of work, bring your knees back here and release the body into the floor. And then for those of you who have it in your practice, go ahead, fingertips to the toes, and here's your happy baby and breathe. We take our left foot down and the right leg goes up, point the toe, get a stretch down the front of the leg and hold and then flex here and hold. Heel, turn out and pull it in. Now, if this is too much in your figure four, leave it here and breathe. Let's change over. Extend that leg up. Nice pointed toe. Again, stretch down the leg. Flex your foot and hold. Oh yes. Open up that hamstring. Heel to the thigh and hold. Arm comes out. Inhale. We have a couple more stretches. I'm just going to talk you through this one. Inhale. Bring the knees in and hold. 
and release. That time went really fast. I guess that's true. Time flies when you're having fun. Again, if this is too much, stay right here. And now extend your legs out. Flex your feet and wrap those arms around you, getting the stretch in the shoulders. Release your bind, place your elbows into the floor, make a fist, and then let's just pop our chest and push the elbows into the floor, opening up the chest. Now rotate those hands gently and come out. Abs are tight and really get your chest up. All right, collapse everything into the floor. Think of the floor as your support and then roll into a spinal twist. That top arm comes up. We gently press ourselves up to a seated position. If you've been with me, you know I love an easy pose. This is easy pose, but you can always stretch your legs out. All right, so we're gonna take this easy pose. We're gonna sweep the arm around, greet right behind the elbow, drop the shoulder. Now look over the shoulder. Nice deep stretch. Sit up into the hip flexors and your abs remain pulled in and breathe. And extend arm around, drop your shoulder low. Now I have been known to push the envelope. So I am going to push the envelope on this one. Since I've already taken us over our allotted time, I'm gonna take at least 30 more seconds of your time in this stretch, inhale up, exhale, reach forward. So here's maybe six seconds, reach forward like we can grab each other through the screen, bring your hands into prayer pose, pull those arms back towards you, drop the shoulders, hands to the heart, sit steady, close your eyes. In this quiet moment, thank yourself. Thank yourself for prioritizing your daily self-care. One more time, stay here, inhale up. Exhale out. Gently flutter the eyes open. And we are done. Okay, so we went a little over time. That's okay, that's okay. And if you stay with me the whole way through, guess what? That means that your endurance and your strength has increased, so applause to that. I will not take any more of your time. I will thank you for doing this workout with me. I will thank you on behalf of you for prioritizing your daily self-care. And until the next time, my friends, see you soon. Bye.